Okay, today we have come to Sutton Hoo. This is where back, just as the Second World War was starting, Edith Pretty had a house, which I believe is that house behind the entrance there. Um, but on her land she had some burial mounds, or what she presumed were burial mounds, and she wanted them excavated. And she, um, she got a local excavator, Basil Brown, to come and have a look at these mounds. And what, he eventually, what they eventually found was this great big Viking ship going back to Anglo-Saxon times. And um, so today we are going to the visitor centre and hopefully we are going to see the mounds which were rebuilt. All the artefacts is actually in the British Museum because she actually gave it all to the British Museum. Um, the Ipswich Museum wanted it to start with, um, but she actually chose to give it all an enormous amount of gold, all sorts of things, um, but she gave it to the British Museum, and if you look on the internet, it's all in room 41. So let's go and have a look, see what we can see. Right, well here we are at the uh, visitor centre. I presume we go in there. What do you think, Ross? Looks pretty good. Cool. And then here is the sculpture. Love our new ship sculpture, but please do not climb on it. But this is this is the actual size of the boat that they dug up, or the remains of the boat. That's quite a quite a thing. And that is that is the house. That's um that must be Mrs. Pretty's house. I don't know whether we can go in there or not. I wouldn't have thought so. But yeah. Let's carry on. Right, this is coming out of where we've just done our tickets. Here they come. Hello. <laughs> Here's Lucy and Will. They've made it. We're just waiting now for Andrew and Jeremy. Christopher. Will and Ross are somewhere around. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. And you. Now here we are. We've got a buggy again. <laughs> We've got a buggy. She's... she's He's having instructions for his buggy. Right, here we go. We're going on the first of the walks now. Leaving the visitor centre. And let's see where we can go to. This is the boat structure from, um, from the other way. So we're just deciding still where we're going. Where are we going? We're going to go to the left. Right. If we're going to the mounds. Yes. It's the mounds is the main thing we want to see, don't we? That's very pretty down there, though. So, this is the way we're leaving. Sorry, not that way. This way. And again, there's the house. This says we've got a viewing tower. But what it is, it looks like part of a boat and you go around to the other side there is a nice view over there you see some boats over there but here is the seat where you can sit to view nice carving there it is and you sit there and look across there then from here, here's a nice view of the, the house, Edith's house, Mrs. Pretty's house. And there's some people down there, they're reading another plaque. But uh, yeah, it's very, very pleasant. 
and it is a pleasant day and it's a nice place to bring bring your dog for a walk bring your dog right, this tells us about the royal burial ground and there's a brilliant picture of Andrew and I our reflection in it but anyway we're at mound two the ship one of the ship burials not the great ship burial and that's that one there but we're now going to go around the horseman's to, mound they to found him with the horse number one we'll go around and find that I think it's where all those people are over there but we'll go and find out anyway but there's there's mound two the ship burial that was one of the ones excavated in 1938 and, and oh and oh and 1988 anyway let's carry on now it's a lovely day this is a very interesting place and uh, yeah we're wandering along and see what we can if we can come across the big ship burial Right, we think this is we think this is the main mound where that talk is going on. But we're going to now go up this viewing tower. Right, we're on the top of the tower now, and there you can see the river or estuary, and that's where they would have dragged the boat up back in. Anglo-Saxon times, all this way over to over here, where the mound is. We're on the top of the tower at the moment, so we'll go down there in a minute and get the view of the actual mounds. Now, from up at the top here, he you can here? really yeah. see see the mounds. There's number two over there. And that's the ship's one. I am presuming. And there are loads of them. And there's the old buggy down there. I don't know what he's doing. Yes, there are those people having their talk. But no, it is, it is quite amazing to see the perspective of them. Oh, I had no idea there were so many. Very interesting, very interesting. But as I say, the most interesting is, is right over there that they dragged this boat all those thousands of years ago. Now Ros, Ros has just pointed out that that is definitely the number one because I don't know whether you can see from here because this tower is moving but you can see oh, I can't find it now on the camera there there it is one end of where the boat was and then they've put another one at the other end, which I'm struggling to find. There it is. So that is definitely the mound where the boat was. And that is the length of it. Well done, Ros. Well done. And here's the outline of where the boat was from down here. That does make it um, make it seem real. Now we're deciding where to go again. Where to go from here? Whether we go on one of the long walks, because there are long walks through the woods. There's a good view now of the River Deben, where they brought the, bo the boat up from when they were going to bury this king in it and there's Woodbridge there as well. So, yeah, as I said before, it was a long way. Pan around, and there's the house again. Mrs. Pretty's house. 
there's a signpost saying where we've been and where we're going. I think we're going on the Valley Walk now. There are lots of walks, but you don't have to go on all of them. Right, we've just come up on the Valley Walk now, and we're right up by the house, so we'll now go in and have a look. Because it's holiday apartments, it says, on the gate. So let's go and see. And here we now are at Tranmere House. Uh, we're going to go inside in a minute. But you look across here, and that's where she'd have walked to get to the barrows over there. Look at that. Inside Sutton Hoo House. Look at that, Christopher. Isn't that wonderful? A gramophone. Oh. Right, let's go in. Oh, there's all sorts to see in here. I didn't know we could come in here. All sorts. Film playing. All sorts of information. Oh, and there's, there's Robert. <laughs> Very interesting. And all the treasures. No, this is well worth a visit to come in here. It was Sutton Hoo House, but now it's Tranmere House. Through here, these be the original tiles on the walls. Oh, wow. Very interesting. Oh, there is just so much information in here. Films, all sorts of things. All sorts of things. So much information. But no, it's all been done so well. Well, we've just spoken to a really interesting gentleman in there who's told us um, a lot more about Robert, the son, and how he went on to go and live in Hampshire and um, go to Eton, then Sirencester, and he's had children of his own. And um, no, he was very interesting and also told us that there is um, now a dig going on at Rendlesham, not far away. Um, and where they think there may be some more treasure, but that is an ongoing thing. I don't know whether I explained that Robert, who I was just talking about, was Mrs. Pretty's son, who was eight years old when the dig took place. Of course, know who I'm talking about if you've seen the film. And here we are now in the gift shop. Lots of books. There's the film, the dig. All sorts of nice things. All sorts of stuff. Put and buy. Lovely gift shop. Sorry, sorry about that. I could buy a bag. Easter things as well. Okay, we've come out of the gift shop. That was wonderful. I bought a couple of fridge magnets and we're now going to go and find somewhere to have something to eat. Um, a pub, local pub somewhere. So we've had a really nice day and I would thoroughly recommend coming to Sutton Hoo.